Shazam is one of the most powerful heroes in the DC Universe, and with his new film coming out, I've decided to go over his origin. Now originally Shazam was actually named Captain Marvel, which as most of you know is the name of one of Marvel's biggest female heroes. At least female at the moment, Captain Marvel has actually been many genders over the years. And after several lawsuits and court cases, DC lost the right to call their hero Captain Marvel, so his name is now Shazam. Which is why in the old comics and TV shows and video games, he is referred to as Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. But from now on, I'll be referring to him as Shazam, because in the future, that's how he's going to be known. Now, Shazam's origin starts when he is a child. Billy Batson is an orphan and is living on the streets, though in some versions of his character, he is actually in foster care, with no idea who his real family are or if any of them are even alive. This seems to be the case for the new film. And one day, a wizard named Shazam summons him through magic and brings the subway car that he is on to his own dimension, the Rock of Eternity. Now, the wizard is searching for a champion, someone pure of heart to wield his immense power and to use it properly to make the world a better place. And the wizard is searching hard for a worthy champion, so he has gone through thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and possibly even millions of candidates. And every single one of them has fallen short, as none of them were pure of heart. Now, in the original version of his character, the wizard found Billy Batson to be pure of heart and gives him his powers. Though in some of the newer versions of the character, such as the New 52 and Rebirth comics, Billy Batson is a bit more human, by which I mean that he is a bit more selfish. Now, he's still a good person and he still wants to help others, and he does have a heroic side, but he also has his personality flaws, same as the rest of us. And the wizard gives him his powers mainly because of the timing of needing a champion and the fact that Billy Batson is, at that point, the best one he has available. As the wizard sees what I've just said, Billy Batson has a heroic side and has a lot of potential to be good, despite his faults. And that is pretty much it. He has quite a simple origin on the whole, but there is a bit more you need to know. You see, thousands of years ago, the wizard, whose name is also Shazam, chose another such champion, a noble man who was a worshipped hero in his time. But over time, he grew bitter and distant from mankind, and he grew angry at them and became known as the villain Tef Adam, which roughly translates to Black Adam. And he used his power selfishly to conquer his home country and basically rule as a dictator. He became so bad that eventually the wizard had to step in and act. Now, the wizard couldn't remove the powers from his champion, because once they're given to a champion, the powers belong to them forever until that person dies. So instead of this, the wizard locks up Black Adam in a prison where he can't hurt anyone else. Now, I should say this is the story in the main DC version. There are, of course, other versions where the character Black Adam is not put into a prison as such, but is sent into deep space. I was forced to banish him to the farthest star in the sky. And it takes him thousands of years to fly back to Earth, and he wants to kill the wizard. Although when he comes out of the prison, he's also quite mad at the wizard and wants to kill him too. But Black Adam is an important part of Shazam's origin, because after Black Adam became a villain, that was when the wizard vowed to only make a new champion if he could find someone that he felt was noble and pure of heart, and wouldn't be corrupted by power. Hence why it took him a few thousand years before the wizard was able to find a new champion, as he wanted to do a better job of vetting candidates than he'd done before. But as I say, his new champion is now Billy Batson. And so when Billy Batson says the word Shazam, he transforms into the hero Shazam and has an adult body, despite the fact that he's only a kid. The name Shazam is an acronym that defines his powers and abilities, and it stands for the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. Now, what this basically means is that he's super tough, super fast, super strong, pretty much invulnerable, but when he does get hurt, he does actually have a healing factor, so he heals pretty quickly. He can also fly, is very intelligent, and has a vast amount of knowledge at his disposal. And he also has a lot of fighting styles from the ages put into his mind. And of course, he is able to shoot lightning from his hands. And when he says the word Shazam, he is able to summon great lightning from the sky. Now this is used to turn into Shazam's body and turn back into Billy Batson's body, but he also uses it to fight others, as he has done in the past against Superman. And in terms of power, he is pretty much on par with Superman, as the two have fought each other to a standstill before. In fact, the easiest way to describe him is to think of him as Superman in terms of superpowers, just without the freeze breath or heat vision, though of course he can shoot lightning. 
and Shazam can also share his powers. Uh, later on, he actually gave some of his power to his adopted brother, who became Captain Marvel Jr. Captain Marvel! Now this boy is crippled, and it's the one we've seen in the movie trailers, so it looks likely that he is going to share his power with him at some point. Though that may not happen through the end of the film, or they may just save it for the sequel. And later on, his sister also becomes Mary Marvel, and again has pretty much the same powers. I also have to say that he does have what can only be described as magical abilities. Now, these aren't defined, and they're not defined because Billy Batson himself doesn't actually know what they are. You see, the wizard Shazam didn't really give him an instruction manual, but he does have the power to use magic, and has actually conjured a ping pong table out of nothing before. Not exactly the best use of magical power, but he does have great magical abilities that he will discover and learn how to use over time. And that is his origin. And he's actually quite a good character. I must say, I'm not actually a huge fan of the original version of Shazam, or as he was known back then, Captain Marvel. But the new 52 and Rebirth versions are actually really good. I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, I prefer the old one. But personally, I think making him a slightly darker character made him a lot more realistic and a lot more interesting to read about. Because beforehand, he was just too much of a goody two-shoes. Whereas now they've made him a bit more of a rebel. To be fair, this isn't always used in the best way. Sometimes he just comes across as a bit of a dick. But for the most part, he is a much more interesting character. But what do you think of his character? And are you looking forward to watching this film? And if you're watching this far enough in the future, what did you think of the film? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.